Hi guys and welcome to our channel. In the previous video we talked about how to manage content, meaning folders, pages and files. Today we'll look into how to manage portlets. To begin manipulating portlets, you must find the Manage Portlets link. It's usually located on the bottom of each side column. By default, the portlets that you assign at the root of the website will be displayed on the assigned subsections. If you want a different set of portlets or order of portlets for a particular subsection, you must use the block on block portlets controls. Uh, there are several different types of portlets uh, to choose from. The way that some portlets are named are pretty self explanatory. Let's add static text portlet. The static text portlet allows you to enter content just as you would do on a normal page object. You can insert uh, the image. You can also have an um, uh, option to hide the portlet title and footer by ticking the box omit portlet border. The next two are things entering the link. To rearrange your portlet, simply click the blue up or down arrow. This will affect the order your portlets are displayed on the page. To remove a portlet, click the red X sign and uh, furthermore, in Plum 4, you can also uh, show hide portlets using uh, show hide links present. Um, well, you all know by now that Plum is a rather extensible CMS, uh, so uh, to have your portlets displayed in the footer, header or main content area, you just need to install Content Well Portlets extension and then activate it via Site Setup add-on section. You can add up to 6 portlets in these areas. So it's everything for today guys. If you have some additional questions, be sure to leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.